Welcome to the chef and the butcher. What are we doing here today? A bit of cooking. We're in my kitchen for a change. So today it's about cuts of meat and you're going to show us how to cook them. Wait, hey, just help me. Patience, relax, just a bit like you need to do. Hey, you'll be a patient if you keep it up. That could be on the cover, just delicious. Today we're cooking with pork cutlets. Pork is what I made my name on, the Prince of Pork. I, I know, you are the Prince of Pork. So pork cutlets from the loin, okay, so the rack part of the animal, so between the shoulder and the leg. Yep. Um, and it's considered to be the most tender, the juiciest, the most flavoursome sort of cut of pork. So for this, a quick cook in the pan with a lemon and marjoram butter. Delicious. Um, and the fat's obviously super important because uh, fat is flavour, as we know. Without fat, there's no flavour. And in my house, you don't have crackling, don't come home. Yeah, yeah. Right, we're doing our pork cutlet with our lemon, a caper and marjoram butter. You ready? Sounds tasty, yep. What do we need? First, first thing. Butter. butter. I'll just help you with that. Yeah. Butter. 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 Yeah. Right, so we got our uh, chopped capers. Capers and pork, match made in heaven. Marjoram, smell that. Never been a big fan of it. Well, I'm a big fan of marjoram. So the marjoram <laughs> goes into the butter. There you go. Yeah, it's because it's your recipe. That's why you're a fan of it. Pork doesn't have a lot of flavour. It's got this beautiful sort of soft, sweet sort of flavour to it. Um, pork Australia might disagree with that. No, no. Really I mean, pork's tasty. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying anything there, Colin. Yeah. Don't get me into trouble, man. A little bit of pepper. We might put a little bit of juice in there as well. Need a knife. Can I get a knife? Thank you. A lot of help on set today. It's amazing. Just a little bit, right? Have a little taste of that. Oh, yeah. There's a bit Tasty. of zing. Bit yeah, of zing. Yeah. yeah. Zing. Okay, so we're going to leave this on the side at room temperature. You know, just so it's just going to be melting. Yeah. You got that? Got it. Thank you. Um, right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to fry the skin for about one to two minutes. I guarantee it, we will have crackling after 40 seconds. Right, we got a hot pan. We got olive oil. You're going to use more olive oil than you need, right? A little bit of salt on there. Right. right, what did I say? After 40 seconds, you're going to start to get a little bit of crackling. Yeah. So we're on 35. Yeah, and 36. 36, 37. Seven, yeah. Eight, you're nine. confident, aren't you? Yeah. Might need a bit more than that. Oh, oh nice and bubbly. Look, look at that. 40 seconds, you're already getting the bubbling. Mm -hmm. Wait, hey, did you doubt me? Yeah. While you're doing that, mucking around with that, I do have a bit of pork skin. Do 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 do, Anthony's top tips. And tricks. Go. And yeah, I just had this in my back pocket, Colin, as yeah. you do. Um, so what you want to do is you want to sort of score the skin. So nice sort of sharp knife. And we're going to create a beautiful sort of little diamond pa pattern here, Colin. A bit of salt. Might so, just reduce so we've things. scored this skin. That's okay. really good, Colin. Thanks. Yeah, yeah no, no worries, well, I'm mate. focusing on my skin, mate. Right. Can you pass me the olive oil and... You uh, should have focused on it years ago. A bit of moisturiser the... wouldn't have went astray, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and ideally what you do with your pork crackling is you do it the day before. What you do now, you get a baking tray, uh, you get a tea towel, all right? And then you put the skin on that baking tray and on that tea towel, and you put it in the fridge overnight, and you let all that salt pull all that moisture out, yep. and you'll have guaranteed perfect crackling every time. So now that you've got your crackling, now we're going to work, we're going to seal the meat. So that pan's nice and hot. Bit of seasoning, bit of salt. So you talked about the thickness of bit these. Bit of salt. Oh, bit of salt, yeah. You've okay. got it over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mate. A bit slow today. <laughs> and that's the other thing we should talk about, because most people get a bit paranoid about cooking pork. They have, you know, think that they have to overcook it. Yeah. Um, but definitely you can cook it to Pink. So pink, you want yeah. 50, so a little bit under. 50, yeah. 58 degrees uh, centigrade if you want to get all technical. Because we're going to finish these off in the oven, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we're going to probably do, what, two minutes, two minutes, three minutes in the oven. So they're sealed. I'm going to pour off the excess oil. So what are you doing now? So back in the pan? Back in the pan, back in the room. Going to add a little bit of garlic. Got a little bit of ginger, little slithers, pork and ginger. Yep. It's like Chef and the Butcher. Chef and the Butcher. It goes together. A little bit of the fresh marjoram. And can you give me a little spoon of the marjoram butter, please? All right, so we're going to put that in the oven. 
200 at degrees, two minutes on one side, two on the other side, maybe three. We'll, so we'll check turn it. Them. You're yeah, we're going to turn them. So yep. it cooks evenly on one side, then we turn it, cooks evenly on the other side. Beautiful. And then we're going to take them out of the pan, rest it. So you, you wouldn't cut them now because they're too hot to cut. So you spent all this time like just, you know, sealing the skin, caramelizing. If you cut it now, the steam would come out and it would just dry it out. Yeah, it'd leach all those beautiful juices that you want to yeah. sort of You know the way you, you see those ads of the chef cutting and the steam coming out? That's all wrong, people. That's wrong because you want to let it rest and just, you know, relax. Patience, relax, just a bit like you need to do. Pa you'll be a patient if you keep it up. <laughs> right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to some little cukes. Very quick pickle. So what we've got is, because you've got the, the sweetness of the pork, the crunch of the crackling, and this is just another little texture. So you add a bit of salt, pepper, uh, a little bit of sugar, because that's going to balance everything out. So you've got salt, pepper, and a little splash of lemon juice. So we'll just let that sit. And what happens is the juice, you're going to get more juice, because the juice from the cucumber is going to leach into the pickling liquor, and it'll mellow out a bit. So Colin, I reckon we're ready to plate up and start tucking into these beautiful pork cutlets. Let's do it, they're rested, let's go. So we got this beautiful crackling here. This is like, you know, what would you call it? Like, you know the butcher's cut, you know, when you got that special bit? Yeah, yeah, okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice the meat and that pan that we've got the pan juices in, we're gonna roll the meat in the pan juices. Don't forget about that. This is, this is all the goodness in here, Colin. Look at that, see the way it's blushing pink there? So go all the way to the bone and use the bone. So get that, Let me wrap that. that around the flavor. Look at this. Look the at flavor. This, this, is, this is all, this is the good stuff. The flavor sensation. All those beautiful pan juices. Yeah, so you've got your marjoram, your marjoram butter in there. You've got your ginger, you've got your garlic. You're getting the, all that glistening moisture on there. Do you know what it's like? It's like a pork sunset. A pork sunset? That's what it's like. <laughs> so straight on here. Sort of make it a bit earthy. You do the, you do like, the presentation. Like, send your mat moran, just get a nice and arty. And then we uh, scatter our crackling. Where's our little butter? This is the main. So that's gonna melt onto the hot meat. A Little bit of the watercress, because you want that peppery watercress with the, look at that, man. That could be on the cover, this delicious. This could be on the cover. This could be our first cover. Shot. Could be, we've never had it. We've, we've never cover. had it, never this had, might just be a saying, first. delicious, Kerry. <laughs> we've never had a cover. And don't forget, guys, for this recipe, head to delicious.com.au. We're back. We never left.